Well, everybody's favorite group, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, they are back at it again. This time, they are targeting a city courthouse in Cold Spring, Texas. That's right, Cold Spring, Texas, a little town made up of only 900 people. Now, you see the atheist organization is very upset because, you see, they have four crosses, four white crosses, displayed on their courthouse, and they sent a letter in late April to San Jacinto County stating that these crosses are a blatant violation of the U.S. Constitution and they must come down. You were promoting religion with those crosses. You were promoting the Christian faith and you better take them down or else we're going to get really upset and we're going to wet our pants and scream and cry and just like they always do. But the city is not really taking this too seriously. In fact, the commissioners in Cold Spring, they voted 5-0 in favor of keeping the crosses on the courthouse. They are not going to allow atheists or whoever to force them to have to take these crosses down. In fact, they even have the support of the attorney general who said they will back them completely. If there's a lawsuit that's put out against them, they don't care. They said they will fight it. This is a Christian community is what many of the residents said there. And we are not going to be bullied or pushed around by anyone. They said, if you don't like the crosses, well, too bad. They're not harming you. They're not doing anything to hurt you. So just deal with it. Now, they had over 600 people were on hand at the time of the vote. And remember, there's only 900 people in this small town. In fact, the crosses even light up during Christmas time. The attorney general had posted a photo on Facebook showing the crosses lit up after the 5-0 vote was over in favor of the crosses remaining put where they are. They are said, guys, they are standing their ground on this. They are not going to let these atheists bully them around. The attorney general is on their side. Residents were even interviewed. In fact, I'll put a video clip in the description here of this video if you guys want to go and check out to see what some of them had to say. It was very interesting. Uh, they are, I mean, it's a faith-filled community. That's for sure. They're about 60 miles north of Houston. And they are not worried by this at all. They're going to continue to praise and thank God, despite the atheists trying to push back on them. And uh, they are prepared, like I said, to fight this every step of the way. Just remember, guys, we're living in the last days. Groups, organizations like the Freedom From Religion Foundation and others are looking to constantly be the voice of morality, the voice of reason throughout all of the world. Well, they're really not. We know that God is the one that created this earth. He created the heavens and the earth. And one day we will all stand before him and give an account of our life. And that includes atheists as well. That being said, guys, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Sound off down below. They're saying the crosses will stay. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for all of your support, guys, for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also, subscribe here if you are new and check out some of the other great video content we have. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.